First, start with the Z-channel. Pre-drill your screw holes and then screw the Z-channels in, making sure they're level. Put in one screw every 8 inches up and down the wall. Next, install the rigid insulation. Screw in another Z-channel and then repeat the process. Now it's time to install your Gridworks channels. First, take the bottom channel and screw in screws at every point where the Z-channel intersects the Gridworks channel. Because the Z-channels and Gridworks channels are made of different metals, they must not touch. Put a spacer behind the Gridworks channel to avoid direct contact between dissimilar metals. Do this at every point as you work up the wall. Next, set a string horizontally to determine the fat spot in the wall. Then, insert additional spacers at thinner spots to ensure the wall is level and plumb. When you're done with the bottom channel, clamp on temporary vertical channels to help your workflow up the wall. Make sure everything is level and plumb and move on with your Gridworks channels using a 9 inch spacer as an aid to set the next channel. Repeat the process ensuring the channels are properly spaced and level so that the wall is plumb. When you hit the point in the wall where you intend to use a bullnose or a 4 inch stretcher, set the beams an inch apart. Then continue up the wall keeping the channels a standard 9 inches apart. Remember to put a screw in both the top and bottom of the channel along each Z channel. Then sweep out all of the channels getting rid of any debris. Now to put in your stone. The first step is to caulk the top kerf in the stone, then insert the L brackets. You need one L bracket for every 12 inches of stone. The next step is to set the bottom of your stone into the track, then positively engage the stone with your elbow and use a hammer and chisel to snap it into the top track. Use your chisel to maintain a 3 8 of an inch gap between stones. Repeat the process with profile errors clip and with smooth errors clip. Then, fill all joints between units with backer rod and install silicone sealant over the backer rod. Smooth it over with your fingers or tool and then let it cure.